Hi, I'm Chappie with Forge Tactical for the Beretta Training Series. Today we're going to talk about drawing from concealment. This can be a, a touchy and complex subject depending on how you carry your gun. I'm going to demonstrate and teach this from the way I carry my concealed weapon and you can uh, take from that uh, skills that you can apply to how you carry. Obviously we don't want to practice for the real world only standing up with cotton ball clouds across an impossibly blue sky like Pat used to say. We need to practice these skills, especially the CCW draw, from our likely circumstance. So if you're sitting in your car, you sit at restaurants, uh, you sit at work, and you find yourself thinking that you may have to engage a target from those positions, you need to practice on the range from those positions. I'm going to show you how to practice sitting in a chair facing the target. It's obviously one of hundreds of, of options. Uh, you can practice shooting from your car by using a simple folding chair and facing it uh, parallel to the firing line so that you're not perpendicular and you can shoot over your side. Uh, from your back, from your stomach, from your side, uh, while you're crouching, etc. Uh, the possibilities are almost endless. Your job is to figure out which possibilities uh, apply to your circumstance and practice those. Some general principles apply for drawing from unusual positions uh, for all of them. First and foremost, we practice it on the range so we can practice not sweeping ourselves or creating safety problems when we draw. It would be very easy for me when I draw from this position to follow my leg uh, pointing the muzzle at myself. I want to avoid that. Right now the gun is pointed at me by virtue of it being in the holster pointed at my hips. However, as soon as I draw I want to minimize that exposure. If you're shooting strong side, you're going to have to practice rolling your body and shifting your leg to avoid sweeping yourself. If you're on your stomach, you're going to have to learn to avert the muzzle and bring it up if you're on your back, you're going to have to learn to come over your leg. From this position though, which is just a general uh, sitting position, I'm sitting in a restaurant minding my own business, and the 18th Al-Qaeda Parachute Brigade decides to attack this restaurant, I need to be able to shoot from this position. The principles of the draw remain the same. I'm still going to clear the cover garment, acquire a grip. I'm not going to try to get my stance because I'm sitting. Uh, but I just felt my body trying to move my legs, which is actually a good thing. I'm going to clear my cover garment, acquire my shooting grip, draw, come to the high compress ready, come out, finger straight, come back to the high compress ready, stand up and execute your, your reholster from the standing position. It is far safer and it's far more realistic. You're probably not going to remain sitting after you shoot somebody. Shooting like this doesn't happen on accident. If you think you might need to, to execute something like this in the real world, you need to practice. A good way to learn how to practice is to go to winthefight.com or beretta.com and check out Forge Tactical and Beretta's videos on drawing from concealed.